Hello everyone, welcome back to the Utazen, and today's video is going to be a little different. Um, I've noticed a lot, it's been a trend on TikTok where a bunch of people will make um, PowerPoint presentation type videos of whatever they like, you know, just anything. And I've also seen two YouTubers of mine make a PowerPoint type video, and I thought it was cool, so I thought I'd give it a try. I know it's a 2021 um, type trend, but trust me, I, I'm the type of person to, uh, be very late with trends because I usually do not like to participate in the trend when they are trendy, but, uh, that's, that's not the point. So for my presentation, my name is the Utazen. My talk is about, um, groups I want to get into for 2022. Um, the objective here, um, in 2021, I only focused on four groups, um, the K-Band, um, Lucy, um, right here, um, you should really get into them, they're a really good, um, K-Band, they're very underrated, so you should give them a chance, um, not a group, but I've been focusing on Kim Woojin, I've, I'm a fan of his, I've been helping him this entire year, trying to help him get back on his feet after the horrible things that have um that were given to him and he also made really good music i'm very surprised um so that's literally all i've been getting into in terms of that um and i've been getting into both the boys and nct they've been both uh, my old groups so far i have a list of new groups that i want to get into plus a, a list of groups that I already stand, but I want to get back into because if you can see like these four um, artists was all that I was focusing on um, for 2021. Um, I don't know if it's because I matured or because of school and I have other things to prioritize, but uh, um, I miss the time back in like middle school and high school where I would focus on 10 groups at a time. Now I can only focus on four and it feels a little empty it's literally four is enough but i don't know i just missed that so with that in mind i have separated the list between two different sections the first section will be called new group which will refer to the groups that i have not stand so therefore they will be considered new to me so there's going to be groups that have been in the business for a couple of years some would have been in the business for more than five years who knows um but they would be new to me since i hadn't really um sat down and stand them you know the next one would be return um this will refer to the groups i already stand before but i want to get back into pretty self-explanatory how this will work is i'll name the groups and specify the term aka whether they are new group or returning group and explain their purpose on why I want to get back into them or get into them. Let's start with new groups. Um, this is an example of a new group I want to get into. This is Victon. Um, I discovered Victon from a TikTok uh, where it was just Hans's rap from the song What I Said, and I thought it was really good, so I searched up the song and I was really into that entire song. I played it so many times and I was very into uh, Hanse. I'm always a rapper type person when it comes to uh, biases. I always gravitate toward the rappers and the way Hanse dresses, his tattoos, all this stuff. That's my style. Well, I don't have any tattoos, but like that's the type of guy I'm into. So I really gravitated towards him and I don't know all of their names. I know for sure this is Hansei, and there's some members that I know their name, but not all of them, and I'm not 100% like sure if that's their name. Um, I'm going to give it a crack. This is Subin. I think this is Sejun. And this is Sungwoo? Something like that. I know somebody here is named Chan or Chani, but 
other than that, I really don't know most of the names and I really want to get to that point. I want to become an Alice. That's their uh, fandom name, if I'm not mistaken. This could be me one day. So kicking it off, um, a new group I want to get into is a group called We I. I keep wanting to say way because it's a like a thing that we say where I'm from. But We I is one of the groups that were made after the disbanding of um, X1. Other groups that participated in X1 were like some members of BAE173 and if I'm not mistaken, um, and Hypen and Gravity and I think Ghost9 as well. I'm not sure since I'm not really into um, those groups or I wasn't really invested in X1 when it was happening. Um, I'm only into BAE173, but uh, a friend of mine was invested in those types of things of the idol producing groups and uh, told me I should get into these groups. But the main reason why I want to get into We I is because I recently watched the drama A Love So Video. What? A Love So Beautiful starring um, Johan, which I believe is him. And uh, I did some research on the cast because when I find an actor or someone I'm interested, um, I search up, uh, see like, you know, the basic stuff, their real name, where they're from, um, their birthdays, and uh, if they have an Instagram account. Because I like to follow people that I like when it comes to actors. Um, Turns out uh, Johan was... um, a part of this group and he used to be um, the first place of X1 so I thought it was pretty cool and I wouldn't say he's my bias because I, I it's I think it's not fair that uh, you know I only know him and uh, I don't know the other members names but uh so yeah I'm gonna like learn them first and see which who is my bias though um, I did read in the profiles that Johan is uh, an all-rounder and I really I really like that after listening to some of their music I thought I thought they were pretty good so I want to give them a chance the next group I want to get into is a group called is a group called Elast um literally the only reason why I want to get into Elast is because of they start with an E Uh, oh that's a straight line man I never did that before anyway yeah basically just because they start with the letter e um my first name starts with an e and i don't know for some reason i'm obsessed with things that start with an e there's a deeper story but i think if i continue to say that story um we would be here forever Yeah, basically because of the letter E, I know there's another group called Epex that I want to get into. Um, There's also a mutual from Instagram that I talk to sometimes and they said that I should really get into Elast, that they're a really good group. And so I thought I'd check them out. Now, the next three groups are groups that I'm going to group together um, and call them. Eddie Influenced. Um, If you don't know, there's a YouTuber um, named Edward Avila, and he's a beauty YouTuber. Well, I'm not so sure about now, but um, mainly his content now is that he collabs with um, K-pop groups, um, usually during their promotion, so they could, you know, be out there, and he plays games with them, and these groups, TO1, Omega X and DKB or Dark B uh, were on them, and I thought they were they had really good energy, and I thought they were I I had it uh, 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 I do have potential biases though already um, for TO1 I'm interested in Minsu, which is him. I thought he was very adorable. I usually gravitate towards like adorable people now. I don't know, it's like my thing. Uh, for DKB, um, it's Yuku, which he is right here. Um, 
Yeah. He's also adorable, so I see. Um, he's also a Japanese member, and I usually gravitate towards Japanese members for some reason. Um, and in Omega X, I freaking forgot to research who I liked, but um, if you recall, if you also watch Edward Avila, um, he's the guy with uh, purple hair when he was there. He was the one that grabbed my attention, so we'll see if he really stays. I may say that these are my biases now, but who knows? It, they might change. Next group, well, not really a group. Um, he is a soloist, and this person is Gaho. Um, like I said, he's a soloist, and uh, he's friends with Kim Woo Jin, so they have worked with each other. The first time I saw him was that I think there were, there was this thing in TikTok where they were like, oh, for this one TikTok live, who, which soloist do we get? And it was either between Gaho and Kim Woo Jin and Kim Woo Jin won. So that's how I first um, saw Gaho. But then later on, Woo Jin and Gaho uh, started collabing for like, you know, they were just doing covers. And uh, his voice is so amazing. Um, I really got hooked when they did the collab on um, the cover of uh, Driver's License by Olivia Rodrigo. I'm not a fan of Olivia Rodrigo or her music, but this is the only exception because I despise Driver's License. If I hear Driver's License somewhere, I'm going to like um, run away, but this is the only uh, version I will accept because I really like that they're just, if you haven't heard it, you should really go watch it. Um, they they really popped off with that song. Next group is Ace. I've known Ace for a long time. Not personally, right? But I've always heard of them. And uh, um, they really... Um, I guess they really blew up with... Uh, that one song in 2019, 2018, 2019, I forgot the song, but anyway, I'm obsessed with the song Undercover lately. For some reason, I listened to it once from a random like TikTok, and I was like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot how much this song slept. So I went to uh, Spotify right away, and I put it in all of my playlists, and um, I hadn't stopped playing it ever since. So uh, I'm really hoping to get into their other music. And I saw their recent comeback photos. I don't remember if it was this photo that I put as the background or not. But they looked very ethereal. They were beautiful. I usually follow a lot of groups even though I don't stand them. hoping In hoping that I will stand them one day. But uh, I thought they were they were really pretty. So I was like, I need to get into them now. Uh, it was it was also a sign for me to get into uh, K-pop, not K-pop, but Ace, when I found out that they did two covers of Five Seconds of Summer songs. I think it was Young Blood and Easier. And uh, if you did not know this about me, Five Seconds of Summer is my all-time favorite band artist of all time. Did I already say that? Yeah. So this was a huge thing for me. They killed it. So I was like, I really need to get into them now. Next is Treasure. When I mean um, been waiting since 2017, um, my friend, like I said, is really into the, you know, idol producing stuff, survival show stuff. So she kept telling me about, um, why is the picture uncentered? Anyway, telling me about um, Treasure 13, Treasure Box, something like that. And uh, I was not interested because I'm not interested in those things, but during this time, I was really into um, Stray Kids. So at this time, um, Stray Kids did a survival show, um, and in one of the episodes, there was this YG versus JYPE thing, um, and so I saw a little bit that had to do with uh, Treasure, like the contestants of treasure i guess 
Um, and they recently, finally, debuted us, uh, what, a year or two ago? And I didn't get the chance to um, stand them, so hopefully, hopefully uh, I could get into them now. The next um, point uh, I put, Bang Yedam. Um, Yedam, um, I only know him. He's the only person that I know from this group. He's uh, right here. And um, I know about Yedam because, one, this was so, like, I don't um, stand treasure obviously this is why they're in this uh, uh presentation but uh yedam got into uh some trouble it was during their like i think it was before they were going to debut with their first mini album or something but it had something to do with the album um and their album i think had the word first and then yedam was doing like some comparisons like um this is like the first like the first moon landing or something something like that and then he said something that was pretty controversial and people took it the wrong way and um yeah they he got in some hot water and me knowing nothing about treasure and me hearing the story i was defending yedam i don't know if that's okay for me to say but uh i was defending yedam and so i thought since i did that for him I thought maybe one day I will come in and as a favor as a returning the favor I guess um, follow their group and stuff you know but I haven't done so so yeah um, another thing is because uh, I heard I found out that Yadam is also a 2002 uh, liner so we're the same age I'm, I'm also from 2002 so I think it's a big deal because I never see um, 2002 liners. Usually it's a bunch of 2001 liners and 2003s, and usually I never see enough 2002s. So it was really surprising when I found out that Get Down was, um, you know, also 2002. So we're the same age. Um, other than that, um, their music is okay. I haven't heard it enough. Oh, sorry. I haven't heard it enough to say that I like it or dislike it, but um, I haven't even heard a whole full song. I usually listen to snippets from uh, TikTok or edits or something, and uh, they're they're okay. I feel like I need to listen to the whole thing or to listen to it more times to really have an opinion on it. Right now, um, I just think it's okay. Next group. Um, so I don't know why when I was trying to do the presentation usually when you put down a, a photo there's a thing in the side um there's usually a thing that pops down in the side that gives you options to make for designs like how the previous um slides were but it wasn't happening so I kept making it like the actual background and now it looks super blurry so low res and um that kept happening with all the the photos I kept trying to put on. It kept blurring. So um, anyway, I just put this picture and I put the picture um, down here. By the way, I hope these are the right pictures. I don't want to put a, a picture and turns out it's not even that group. But um, yeah, I want to get into CIX or 6. I don't know how uh, you guys pronounce it or how they pronounce it, but... I've been wanting to get into them since their pre-debut. I think it's pre-debut, but I remember that they were going to debut soon, so I turned on the notifications on their YouTube channel. I remember when they had only, I, I, don't, I don't remember, they only had like two videos, and I think it was them like introducing themselves. I'm not sure, but uh, I was like, I'm totally going to get into them when they debut, so I can finally be in a, be part of a fandom that's been there since their beginning. But uh, that didn't happen, so I'm ho their, their notifications are still up, and I still haven't clicked a single one. Um, other than that, I really like their music. Um, there's two songs that I'm pretty sure you guys uh, already know which ones I'm going to say, but um, Movie Star, 
really solid uh, debut. It's really awesome. So I really want to get into the rest of the music. And I also really like um, Jungle. I didn't even know that song was from CIX. I would always hear snippets of it and I really like it. So I want to get into it more and more music to come. So yes. Next, um, oh, uh, that's, that's wrong. I forgot to fix it. Anyway, Blackpink. So, obviously, Blackpink is not new, but I had been wanting to get into them since 2017. During this time, I really, um, um, I've only gotten into, like, about two groups. I'm not sure if I got into, uh, Day 6 yet, because my first two groups I ever got into were groups called Top Dog and BTS and I'm not sure uh, if I got into day six yet because I remember day six was my third group I ever got into I'm not sure if I got into them yet when I wanted to get into um, Blackpink at that time I remember researching them you know listening to their music and I really liked it there are three music videos that they had at the time and I wanted to like watch those a guide to blackpink videos um for some reason I, re I really wasn't interested so i left it at that um but either way whenever their music came out i still liked it so i recently watched uh blackpink the movie a friend uh invited me to it and i was like eh, why not i could get out of the house now um so and i really enjoyed it i liked all the songs i knew all of the songs that they were playing so um it was very um it was very interesting. I also had watched uh, before that um, their documentary on um, Netflix and I really enjoyed it. So I really enjoyed getting to know them more. Yeah, I love their music and uh, I actually used to be a Blackpink anti. Actually, not really an anti. That's actually very um, um, overreacting. But back then, um, like I said, I only liked um, Top Dog, BTS day six and i think i had barely got into got seven at that time and i was really passionate with uh bts and uh, me and my friend uh, my best friend are used to be well she still is very passionate with uh bts that's the only group she likes but uh, i was very uh passionate with uh bts at that time so uh we used to be in that like toxic side where um it was bts is better than blackpink or blackpink is better than bts you know that argument you know that argument that still goes on this day which is uh embarrassing but uh yeah i just didn't really understand why they were popular because my way of thinking was like oh they have uh bts has very meaningful music so i get i understand why they are popular and what what people you know like that and bt uh blackpink doesn't have um they barely even have like four songs like i used to be those people but uh i never really actually hated them I, it was more of like a misunderstanding i didn't really understand um and it was really not fair to make those judgments because um i didn't know anything about them so and with uh, having said that, um, if I do stand, uh, stand beat, uh, if I do stand, uh, Blackpink, um, hopefully I would, this would open a door for me to, uh, stand other girl groups because I'm not really a girl group stand. I'm, I only listen to, um, boy groups because I haven't really gotten a, gotten really interested in girl groups and it's nothing and nothing that has to do with gender it's just that's what i was into i used to be a big jyp entertainment artist then so by default at that time um twice was my favorite girl group but i never really got into standing them like officially when itsy came along i enjoyed them but i never really uh got into them officially um when espa came along i really liked them and i still do um and I really want to get into them. I should have put them in this um, uh, PowerPoint, but uh, I never really got into them. 
and that was I'm on that same boat with Blackpink. And honestly, at this point, I really should just stand because I know all of the members, I know their backgrounds, I know where they're from, like I know the basic stuff about them. So at this point, I really should just stand. Now to the second part of this video, I want to um, show groups that I already stand, but I want to get back into because I hadn't really focused on them. Um, an example would be um, Super M. I'm a person that truly believes that Super M was the best thing to happen in 2019. It was 2019, right? But these days, I'm like, what? I really don't understand what's the point of Super M anymore. But I don't know what's about them that um, I really want to get back into them because I really fell off. I really didn't see the point about them anymore. So I didn't really pay attention to them. But I don't know, something about them that I want to, you know, get back into them. Like, because I used to be a really, like, diehard um, Super M supporter. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm a I'm a big and citizen, so I want to support uh, Taeyong, Lucas, Ten, and Mark for whatever they do musically. Um, or I'm also a big XOL, and I really, really respect Taemin um, a lot. So I think I don't know. I just yeah. Let's continue. A group I want to get back into is Monster X. It's been a while it's been two years since i last been invested in them um i used to be a very big monbebe when uh you know if you can tell by the year duration i think you can tell why i fell off after one hole left the group i really didn't find any uh, uh i guess interest in them anymore or i was having a very hard time because that 2019 was just a very bad year for k-pop alone so I don't know, it was just very hard to process things. I really want to get back into them because I'm a very big um, stickler for uh, Monster X's music. Um, I defend their music a lot. Like in this next point, um, Monster X's English music is far more superior than any other group's um, English music. I don't care what you say. And it would be kind of unfair for me to defend them all a lot for all this time. When I barely even participate, and you know, the people that are like, not your fandom, not your business, you know, like that. So I want to get back into them so I could defend them more because I, I just don't care what you say. Monster X's English music is far more superior and deserve way more uh, praise than, you know, you know. Um, Kihyun's freaking vocals, oh my gosh, I swear. Um, if I were to make a tier list, um, Kihyun would be in the S tier, no matter what. Like it, there is there's a, and it really disappoints me when I see a bunch of like lists on TikTok of people like putting their favorite vocalists of all time or the best vocalists of all time in K-pop, and they never put Kihyun, and I'm like, why? It's not like he literally shook the whole industry with his high notes and his voice that one time yeah okay someone's tasteless but whatever i also see a bunch of videos of or clips of i am just saying the most like just funny shit he's just so uneffortlessly effortlessly funny he's just so funny for no reason i am actually used to be my uh, like k-pop uh, ideal type like um when people ask you what's your ideal type i usually say like oh kind of like i am from monster x like so i really he really captured my heart again because something about that a guy needs to have uh for me um is humor and i am is just like effortlessly funny i don't i don't know and oh my god another video uh like oh my gosh i can't even speak you can tell i'm in like monster x tiktok and all of these videos are really um trying to get me back but 
the videos that I keep seeing so much is like their recent like fan call things. I've only seen the Juhan ones because my bias is Juhan, so I'm seeing a lot of like Juhan stands too. And they're sharing their fan calls with him, and it's like, oh my gosh, he's so sweet. I really need to get back into them. Another group I want to get back into is Tomorrow by Together, TXT. Um, they are one out of the three groups I quote-unquote unstand because I was just very frustrated with the fandom. Um, I've been following them since uh, their debut. I was very excited that Big Hit finally is debuting another group. So I was very excited and, you know, I was just very... uh frustrated when um armies didn't know how to differentiate the two groups as their own they always kept calling txt like the baby brothers the little brothers or that they're gonna take on take you know from bts you know blah blah blah. Uh, i just it was just very frustrating to me that they couldn't be their own person that they always had to bring in bts into it and it's like, you know, they're their own group. But the main reason why I kind of fell off the group is because um, I call it the MOA versus ATE incident. I'm pretty sure it's still going on right now, but basically, uh, MOAs would always try to pick fights from ATE, always trying to pick out different things that ATs are doing. Like, whenever ATs did a BTS cover, and they would be like, oh, um, TXT doesn't have to use um, their ATs uses more BTS than um, TXT and TXT and BTS are in the same label or some bullshit like that that ATs is trying to copy BTS and blah 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 like ATE would literally just mind their own business and then Amoa would be like they're copying blah blah blah, blah. like they would always just say random like unnecessary shit and uh you know back then i was a very big ATE. ATs was like my second third favorite group at the time and so and yeah i just like you know what uh if this is what being a moa is about then i'm just gonna go this was still during like their debut time so i did fell off pretty early so their music is really good. Like, what the heck? Like, since I fell off, I really wasn't paying attention to their music anymore. But whenever I would hear, like, pieces of their music, I would always, I was just like, oh my gosh, who is this? And it was like, oh, it's TXT. Wow, it's such a good song, but I don't want to get back into the fandom. Or I really want to get back into them, but I'm tired of the fandoms. Like, you know, I just, um, I just didn't want to get into, like, anymore i just wanted to listen to the music without running into annoying fans but yeah especially the recent like lover x loser like it's that's my favorite type of music the punk pop punk and like punk music and um rock and stuff like that um that was the type of music um i still listen to it but before i got into k-pop i really like uh Hunin kai he's my uh favorite in the group he's my bias 2002 liner and uh you know the last time i saw him uh he was i realized how much he's grown up since he is the maknae of the group um from from when i used to be in uh like into txt um he was so small all of them were so small and now it's what been two or three years and now they've grown up like wow i really want to get back into them Speaking of ATs, um, another group that I want to get back into is ATs. Um, I kind of fell off, um, despite them being like one of my top groups that I would always like. I was a diehard fan of. Um, I hadn't followed since the whole Hong Jung scandal from uh, Fever Part One. You know when he, uh, not him, but the stylist gave him a very uh, inappropriate hairstyle, and um, you know the 
thanks versus um inception like that stuff i i just i felt really uncomfortable and i felt very frustrated so i just took a step back and not only that the fans got really i say little but it's actually a lot got very very annoying well they're married with stays so i'm really not surprised but uh yeah 18 -y, when i was an 18 -y, um you know since i got into them in uh, since their debut um not pre-debut but debut um we were a small fandom and it was pretty chill but ever since uh i'm glad they got more recognition but you know w whenever groups get more popular and have more uh fans um there will be some fans that are very annoying and ruin it for a lot of us but yeah that's when i took a step back too and then there was a time that i was gonna get back into them but then mingi stepped out he had to do some like he had to take a break because uh some some like health issues that he had to take care of so i was like dang what the heck since mingi is my my bias so i was like oh dang what the heck so i didn't really get back into them because i don't know i wasn't really interested with uh them being only seven so um i think since now mingi is uh back we could pick up where we left off you know they also have a no skip discography they have a flawless um they have flawless music like there is no skips um they are a group one of the only um few groups that i can say that their music has no skips that they're it it's just really good the next group i want to return to is a group called mcnd um i've been a fan since their debut you know my friend again uh introduced me to them so she's she's into like all those rookies and like survival show type things so since they were um rookies are they still rookies I don't know i put them as my favorite rookie group but um when they were rookies um i got uh i was interested in their debut but i kind of fell off from the scandal when they lip sync uh the n-word you know they were very they were popping like they were going to be like the rookie group of 2020 but then that happened and i feel like they that messed them up but uh yeah other than that they have amazing music like i don't know what else to say in uh, enough said like yeah another flawless discography next group that i want to get back into is bav i've been a fan since uh senorita released and i feel like a big chunk of their fans um came from senorita and uh I fell off after getting into like newer groups. Um, VAV was probably um, the fifth, sixth, seventh group I got into. I can't really remember. But then I, that's when I started really getting into like used to the whole K-pop scene, like how to get into groups and stuff like that. So I was getting into newer groups and um, yeah. Um, so I fell off of them, but i want to get back into them they make great music i don't know why people are saying like vav makes trash music their music is awesome what the hell i i really have no nothing else to say because a, lots of people have been saying that like oh vavs i really want to get into vav but their music is trash or whenever they would say like oh problematic why do problematic groups uh make the best music and and like and why do unproblematic groups make trash music and then they're like i know me with vav and i'm like what vav makes awesome music what's wrong with you i if you don't like vav i i don't want to be your friend i don't care um the final group i want to get into um like return to is uh 17 um 17 were my quarantine group which made me obsessed i got into 17 
when it was their like fifth anniversary i'm not sure you know that 2020 era of 17 and um yeah i was so obsessed i fell off after the whole wanu incident you know the incident where they were doing a go going 17 and then they did like a audition type thing and then one woo sang a very uh a very inappropriate song and you know it was around that time with hong jung's incident and like other uh the mcnd incident you know that early 2020 um era where that's basically where i was falling off a lot of groups and then happened the Mingyu incident, the situation where people freaking posted uh, fake rumors about him. And I was just like, Ugh, I just need to take a step back from this. Um, and I love their music so much that I feel bad for falling off. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm a big uh, 17 music performance defender. Like they always keep getting ripped off. They're so underrated. They never get the recognition they deserve. So I always want to fight for, because they're so good at performing and they're like they're a, they're a K-pop powerhouse. I don't care what you say. So it's unfair for me to say that like I'm a def I'm defending them all this time, but I'm not even like really following them. So I really want to change that. Uh, here are some honorable mentions. Like I don't know if I really want to get back into them or not um, because I constantly keep getting reminded how terrible their fans are um, so uh, I really want to get into BTS again BTS was my second favorite group um, my second group I've ever stand ever ever so uh, and they've done uh, a lot for me in terms of like you know really good music uh very they made me very happy it's probably an over exaggeration but like j-hope actually taught me how to smile and be happy like that i they really did a lot for me and uh i really want to i fell off after uh love yourself answer because i really wasn't enjoying the music after uh after that so um and also their fans really ruined it for me so i was just like you know what no more and the same thing with stray kids they stray kids used to be my like entire freaking personality i was a diehard stay they used to be my old group um two years ago and uh you know 2020 um ruined it for me and a lot of people so i just decided to just back off and um you know um i wasn't i'm not really into their music after Levanter, I really wasn't into their music, and um, I do really support them a lot, but um, once their fans stop being uh, complete idiots and very toxic and trashy and stuff, I will probably come back. Um, with that being said, um, are there are there any questions you can leave them down below uh any comments questions concerns um hate comments i don't even care um just let me know in the comments um uh, after <laughs> what the heck? um thank you for your time um that'll be it hopefully uh we can kick off this year really good um i don't know i have a lot of ideas in store and um i'm also yeah i just have a lot of ideas in store and hopefully um it'll be good you know i yeah bye Hola. Oh, yeah, it's because I was uh, recording something. Wait, close that? No. Okay. Oh, close that. A very inappropriate song.